welcome to a new day. It's Tuesday. It's Halloween. Happy Halloween. It's nearly 11, so it's still morning, but I've had a really slow start today. I wasn't feeling that great when I woke up. My cold is better. I'm still feeling a little stuffed up and I'm coughing a bit, but not too bad. So I feel like I got really lucky. Still trying to take it easy because I don't want to relapse, whatever this was. But yeah, I am feeling better on that front, but my stomach just wasn't doing too well today. But I think it's settling down. <laughs> it's not feeling as upset as it was. I'm just gonna have to be really careful about what I eat today. Don't wanna wake up feeling as sick tomorrow as I did this morning, because I think I wanna try to go to Oxford tomorrow. I was looking at my schedule and I still have a little over a week before I fly home, but some of those days are already claimed and there's a couple things that are up in the air, so it could be this week, it could be next week, and I just don't want to get to next week and feel like I end up having to choose between a great opportunity here in London or going to Oxford. So tomorrow's really kind of the only day I have left that I can go. I need to kind of have another early night, earlier than it ended up being last night. I did go to bed earlier than before, but still not as early as I would have liked. So despite the fact that I was still feeling really tired when I woke up, I didn't let myself go back to sleep for a few hours like I would have liked. I think I slept through my alarm and slept for another, I think I'd set my alarm for like 7.30 and I finally kind of sat up at 8.30. So still early, so I'm hoping I can get to sleep at a reasonable time tonight and then get up and get out to Oxford tomorrow. I can still hear people singing outside again. Not sure what that's about, but cool. So I'm on my way over to Alicia's house and I'm gonna hang out there for a little bit. I was thinking I might go do a bit of shopping. I might go over towards Spitalfields. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see what I get up to, and then I'll come home and upload today's vlog, which you will have seen yesterday. I'm really happy about that one. It turned out really well, and I was just, I was really happy yesterday. I was feeling really good yesterday. So I'm gonna try to carry that through today. So one of my subscribers commented on the very quiet day vlog, which I'd been so worried was gonna completely turn people off and be the most boring vlog of this whole trip. <laughs> <laughs> because I literally didn't do anything except go to the grocery store and then go to Alicia's and so there wasn't much to vlog and one of my subscribers Victoria hello she says that it's good to see how fiber affects one traveling she says I love your realness and everything you live out having fibro and which thank you I really appreciate that I I told her that I I try very hard to portray the realities of traveling and living with fibro. I don't want to edit out the hard bits. And the fact was that day I really couldn't walk more than a couple blocks. Going out and doing something just for the sake of vlogging it wouldn't have been smart and I would have regretted it and it wouldn't, the happiness wouldn't have been there so you would, it wouldn't have been authentic, it wouldn't have worked for the vlog. And so I commented that to Victoria and then Victoria shared me that someone had told her to fill as much of the day as I can with what makes me happy. And I thought that that was really good. And that's definitely what I'm trying to do. So some days I can only spend a couple hours doing things that make me happy. Sometimes it's just 30 minutes and sometimes it's a few hours or it's all afternoon so yesterday I was able to do a lot and I think you'll have seen that in the vlog today I'm feeling okay like I said my stomach is kind of settling down so I think I'm doing a bit better so I'm gonna see what I can do and I'm going to spend as much time as possible doing what makes me happy until my body tells me that it needs a break and then I'm gonna take a break so yeah so thank you Victoria for that comment for both of your comments your comment and then your reply to my reply because that really meant a lot and it's nice that that I worry I wonder sometimes if that's getting translated in these vlogs that that is what I'm trying to do and not present a different you know an unrealistic side of my life so it a lot of you have been commenting that you appreciate that I'm not 
being unrealistic and that I'm doing what I normally do. So thank you all for your support with that. And I've been rambling as I do. So it's now probably nearly, yeah, 10.57. So I'm going to get going to Alicia's. Probably won't vlog there because I feel weird vlogging other people's homes and other people's children. It's not really the done thing. But if I go out on my own, I'll vlog and we'll let you see how many things that make me happy I managed to do today. I'm hoping it's going to be at least a fair bit. So, okay, let's go. <laughs> Tuesday night. I'm really tired. This day didn't go quite how I would have liked it to, but it was still fine. After I last spoke with you, I walked over to Alicia's and spent a few hours there with her, which was really good. She was giving Emily lunch 
and then after lunch it was time for Emily's nap. She put Emily down and then we had a couple more hours, but so we had a lot of time to kind of chat and hang out and just have some peace and quiet because their house is usually pretty loud, as you would expect with three small children. So at about two, I headed out and wandered over towards Spitalfields. I tried going to the Ted Baker and more concept store, but it seems to have closed and there's a furniture store in its place. So that was a bit disappointing because that was where I could always get more of the stationary bits. So I might have to go check out Harrods because Harrods sometimes carries the stationary stuff. That's the only place I've ever really seen it because even the regular shops don't usually have the stationery. So I was glad I walked over there today rather than waiting and then possibly wasting time later. So now I know not to go over there. I then went and wandered around Spitalfields Market because um, they usually have really cool like stalls in the, in the middle area and it was a bit disappointing because at first it seemed like there were way more food stalls and food places. Like there's some new, more permanent looking bits in the middle of the one side that used to be all of the vendor stalls and now are more food stuff. So there were fewer of the vendor stalls and fewer of the kind of local and locally made type stuff like like there used to be local um local food like baked goods and stuff like that but also like local arts and crafts like soaps and stuff like that and jewelry and i i saw a few of those but then i was also seeing a lot of stuff that at first i thought was nice but then i noticed that more than one stall was selling them which made me feel like I have a feeling this is just cheap stuff from China and not anything like locally made. And for the prices, they were decent prices, but still, when I would convert them to dollars, like 15 pounds is about $20. I can get, I mean, this scarf cost me, well, it, this was on sale, but I can get a decent scarf at Target for $20. So, if it's all coming from China anyway, not that there's anything wrong with stuff that comes from China, but, like, I'm not going to pay 15 pounds for something that is kind of making itself look like it's somewhat one of a kind, but is really just been taken out of a plastic bag under the table and is not actually that special. So... That was a little frustrating, but I also went into one of my favorite shops over there. One of the permanent um, standalone shops, not one of the little stalls. And I can never remember the name of it. I got some vlog footage of it. They just have the cutest stuff, really whimsical, pretty, um, lots of stuff with funny sayings. And so... I saw some really cute necklaces, some that had like slogans and sayings printed on them. And one that was, I think I got a picture of it, one that was a, um, it was silver and it had like the London skyline. I was really tempted. It's 17 pounds, 50 pence. So, yeah, I'm tempted. So we'll see. They also had a really cute card holder that I liked. And I think it's had good times or something like that printed in like a gold embossing. It's really cute. Really nice. I've been wanting a card holder like that. But I also haven't been to Harrods yet. And I was eyeing up a similar one in Harrods. So we'll see. I've been talking for eight minutes. I need to wrap this up. Anyway, you've you've seen what I did. I... I did kind of get tired of vlogging. Um, I think the last thing I vlogged was walking towards a pret because I really hadn't eaten much because my stomach wasn't feeling well this morning. So I only had like a cheese, a baby bell cheese thing here at the flat. And then I had an apple at Alicia's. 
So I was hungry by three, so I, I went into Pret and I got, they've got these little, they call them protein pots, so it's two hard-boiled eggs and then some spinach leaves. So I got that, and I got a croissant, and I got a cranberry raspberry juice. Um, so I had a few bites of the croissant there and the eggs there, and then I kind of felt like if I didn't start walking again, I wasn't going to be able to get up. I went to Boots. Got a few things at Boots, but I think I'm going to save that for a haul later. I haven't been doing that much shopping yet. I've been doing a lot of eyeing up. And I'm not sure, we'll have to see, I'm not sure there'll be four hauls that come out of this trip. Because um, things aren't on sale like they were last time. But I think there probably will be at least a couple hauls. Um, I still have eight days left to shop. So still plenty of time so and I've got some friends coming to visit so we've got plans for Primark and other shopping so shopping will happen I feel like part of me has been kind of saving my money for when there's people to go shopping with and also if I go to Oxford tomorrow like I'm hoping as long as I wake up and I feel I can wake up on time and I feel okay I'm gonna I'm gonna go I know I'll do some shopping out there because I always do but I did go to Boots and in addition to the few things that I got, and they were having a three for two sale, so that was good. They were also having a three for two on some of the holiday sets, and yeah, I've got my eye on a few of those. I'm going to see what the Boots in Oxford has tomorrow, and I might just get some there. Otherwise, I'll go back to the one at Liverpool Street Station, because that one is huge. They have everything I could possibly want or need more than enough choices so and by that time it was nearly four and I was just because I really hadn't eaten properly all day I was just feeling really wobbly not like physically but kind of physically but also kind of emotionally I was just tired I was starting to feel frustrated that I was feeling so tired and wanting to do more and it was only four o'clock. I didn't really want to go home because it was only four o'clock and I should be able to stay out and do something more, but I just didn't have the energy. Like if I had been feeling better, I would have probably taken the tube to Covent Garden and spent the evening over there and maybe gotten dinner over there. But because I knew that I wanted to go to Oxford tomorrow, I knew I needed to have an early night anyway. So yeah, I'm going to have some dinner. I've got some soup and some bread. If you make it to the end of this vlog, and if you've been watching up to this point, put Ted Baker in the comments, since I was talking about that. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you are not subscribed. We'd love to have you join us. Say hi in the comments, and I will see you all in the next vlog. Thanks for watching this one. Bye-bye.